been filming a very casual get ready with me and this is the look. It's a very toned down Sophia look. And I feel like I've shown similar looks in the past, which is why I don't film a lot of makeup videos because I don't really explore in that area too much. I did see your request and a lot of you wanted to see a normal get ready with me. So if you guys are interested, then let's get started. I'm going in with Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer, the oil-free version, and I am in the shade Natural. I just evenly apply it and I like tap it, but also blend it. And this just gives me like a sheer coverage, but just enough to cover up any redness that I have. Something I used to do back in the day, like if I have a couple of breakouts, I would just pound on foundation. So unnecessary. And I truly don't like the way foundation looks in direct sunlight. No matter how perfect your skin is, when you have too much foundation on in the sun, you can definitely see the cakiness. So once I have a thin layer of the moisturizer on, I like to go in with concealer and just add more coverage to the spots that I need. Um, right now I've been using Ela. This is in the shade uh, Yucca. It's a little bit dark. And I just take it on the spots that I need. So I like to use a brush for this. It actually is a bit easier. I just don't have time to spend an hour on my face, <laughs> nor do I want to, so um, I've definitely sped up my routine. This full glam look will probably take me 15, 20 minutes max. Whereas back in the day, I swear I would sit down and do my makeup for two hours. I just don't have the time anymore. Leo is snoring. Leo, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, do you mind? Um, once that's done, I like to take Bare Minerals or Stick Concealer. I just take a little bit under my eyes. For this, I'll just blend it with my finger since it's more of a thicker consistency and requires a little bit of warmth. And I feel like when your natural oils come in a little bit, all of this product tends to look even more like your skin, which is nice. Okay, so I just <laughs> I had to break for like 30 minutes because the gardeners came and they're mowing the lawn. It was really loud. <laughs> Where did I leave off? You can kind of hear my neighbor's gardeners. It's okay. The base is finished. I'm using the Smashbox Zoom Lens Powder. I like this because every time you twist it, you get fresh powder. So it's really nice to travel with because I hate when powder just gets everywhere. Mainly just set it under my eyes. Uh, for my brows, I'm taking a 3CE brow pencil. Lightly start to give it some shape. I like to work from the outer part of the brow first. Brows can build up so quickly, so even a little bit of product goes a long way. This product has not changed in a very long time. It's the Anastasia Brow Duo Powder in Caramel. Dip it into the lighter shade. I'll start to fill in the front part of my brow. And with a darker shade, kind of just set the tail. I like to take the MAC Lash Primer and use this as my brow gel because it really brushes your brows in place and it doesn't move. And I love that groomed brow look, so a little goes a long way. I'll take the Hourglass Arc Brow Gel in the shade Warm Brunette and I lightly go over my brows with this. I swear when I use the lash primer, my brows just stay in place. It's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and complete the face using the Kosas palette. This is the Tropic Equinox Duo palette. Comes with like a cheek color and a highlighter. I'm gonna take the cheek color with my finger. Just pat this on my cheeks. Very easy to blend. It gives you just a nice hint of color. This is like one of my favorite products, you guys. I'll probably be repurchasing. If you are into cream products, I would highly recommend giving this a try. It blends so nicely, there's no splotchiness, and it lasts for a really long time. I've been using this for a minute, and it's such a pretty color. Um, but I have been switching up the highlighter. On my very natural days, I'll go in with the highlighter in here. But I've been trying out a new product that I purchased at Glossier, which is their Night Shine in Pale Pearl. And I'll just take 
three dots here, one little dot under the brow, down my nose, Cupid's bow, and it blends nice as well. So I like to take my finger and just tap it out. But like cream highlighters give you such a pretty glow from within. Okay, moving on to the eyes. I've been using this palette from 3CE. I like to go with this medium brown. Just kind of wash it on the outer part of my eyes for a little definition. And then with like a more cleaner brush, I will blend that out. And that's like the main color I like to work with. Um, I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette with an angled brush and I'm just gonna pat that onto the lash line and then I'm just gonna blend out that dark shade. Going in with a small smudger brush, that first shade we took, the medium brown, I'm just gonna wash that under the bottom lash line so it's not so bare. For my liquid liner, I'm using the Sephora Waterproof Liquid Liner. Okay, there's no talking or breathing. It's hard to do this with one hand. Uh-oh, it's too long, fucked up. Did I save it? I don't know. Liquid liner is so much harder than gel. I curled my lashes and now I am going to apply some falsies. These have been my go-to falsies uh, from Velour and this is in Short and Sweet. Going in with the Velour glue, it's the best glue ever. Um, you don't have to wait for it to get tacky, it just gets tacky immediately. So I'm gonna pop these bad boys on. The trick of looking down into a mirror, that's the best way to apply. I like to go back in with my liner and just lightly go over the lashes. For mascara, I'm using this Laura Mercier. You don't want to overcoat, especially with falsies or else you can't use them as much. So just very minimal mascara and then you can go as crazy as you want on the bottom. Okay, and for my lips, I'm using the Sephora. It's the Cream Lip Stain in 22, which is a pretty peachy coral shade. You guys have seen me use this in another video as well. It's kind of like my go-to color. Here's a completed look. This would be the look that I would wear when I need to shoot or when I'm going out for the night. This would be the full glam look, um, which is a big difference from my full glam look even a year ago. It was a lot more intense, a lot more definition and shadow on the eyes, a really thick liner and full lashes. And I don't know, as I get older, I just don't feel the need to transform my face in such an extreme manner. I think this is um, glam enough, but also still shows natural features of my face. And this is just a personal preference thing. I know some people would say this is still a lot of makeup and others would say it's just not full glam at all. But I think it's about finding what makes you feel secure and confident. And I think the more makeup that I wear, when I start to look less and less like myself, it actually makes me feel uncomfortable. So let me know what other looks you would like to see. I'm definitely down to show you guys my really natural, no makeup makeup look that I wear almost every day to the office because I just don't have time or the energy to get ready like this every day. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you guys very soon. Love you. Bye!